Hello traders, this is Mac Billion. Today is November 17, 2015. Let's talk about the market. Let's start with two positions we have. We have a spider in IWM. Let's start with the spider. As you can see here, the spider is a critical position right here, touching this resistance, which is also the 20 simple moving average. So from here, we can either break out or we can break down really fast and this time it can go to 197 which is my target on my puts now we have to respect if price break out this resistance right here or the 20 simple moving average why because if you break out right here this thing can go easily to 212 again and I can show you this and the benchmark of the S&P mini futures that is trending right here in today we test that near that resistance and it failed so that's my take on the spider we need to be really disciplined on this one we have December puts so if we're not gonna lose a lot if we break out right here but if we let it go then we're gonna lose a lot if it goes to 212 so if you break out right here and hold 30 minutes before the market close is holding outside it means is holding the breakout boom you have to get out I think we got a good position because his DMI is bearish and it's strong and the volume when it was going up is was really it was really it was really low so I think that we're gonna fail uh, fell down right here and the probability will say a 65 percent probability that we break down 20 20 percent that we move, just move sideways right here and I will say only 10 percent that it's gonna break out so let's see what happens and let's see and follow my indications let's let's now see the IWN this is the iShares Russell's ATF and you can see here the same the 20 simple moving average is the resistance we have to respect that level today we went near the level and it fell so we have to respect that you see the support right here but I think if we break down here and fail we're gonna break down this time and we're gonna go to 1 112 I will say it's 111 79 people but it will say it's 112 if you break down 112 then we're gonna test for sure 107 again as we did back in October so let's keep an eye on this one and I just gave you the key levels 20 simple moving average and this support right here is the ones that we need to watch now let's talk about another ones let's talk about Tesla I want to show you Tesla this resistance right here and that's the level you need to watch if you break out this resistance we're gonna get another let let up if you fail it's gonna move down to 200 and this time we're probably gonna break down to 180 now let's talk about Apple what is Apple doing Apple is holding this a small trend line right here, small support right here. It bounced, but he's he's having problem uh, at the 115 Fibonacci resistance. You see, it failed today, and that fail can get to finally break down this uh, support and test the 110. Now, if you see DMI is completely bearish and strong, so be careful on Apple. Now let's talk about the, uh, this one. I have a que uh, someone asking a question about this one, so I wanted to include it, and it's a good opportunity to learn this one. This is Dick Sporting Goods. It break down really bad, but you see, you saw uh, it, it bounced. It finished at thirty-seven dollars almost. So there's a gap right here. The price is gonna is gonna uh, try to um, close before it moves down, and I'm gonna have to show you something. Look at this huge divergence in the DMI. The minus directional right here is a 53 and the plus direction is a six. This is a huge divergence. So what does that mean, divergence? A divergence on the DMI on his directionals, meaning that the price is gonna stop, it's gonna or pause, it's gonna stop a pause right here. And there's two scenarios, it's gonna pause and bounce, or it's gonna pause and break down when when you enter right here you don't want to enter short right here because you don't want this you don't want because we trade auctions 
well, you don't want to enter here because this price is gonna pass here and you don't know where it's gonna go so you need to wait until until uh, there is a pattern right here you're gonna wait for a uh, bearish flat you're gonna wait for the triangle wedge you're gonna wait for something that you can trade but entering short right here on the bearish uh, divergence then it's gonna be really really uh, hard to trade because it can move just sideways right here and the um, time decay is gonna kill you so wait for a pattern and then you can trade the breakdown or the bounce when it bounce right here of course you have to watch on 137 if we break down 137 it's gonna try to close this gap uh, forty dollars if we, if we that close that gap then it's gonna be really uh, good to go short not long because this one is broken this chart is broken don't ever think that this is gonna go up again it's probably tried to close this gap and that's gonna be an excellent opportunity to get short not long now let's talk about another one let's talk about Facebook you see how strong is Facebook right here it, this is a nice hammer right here it bounced uh, it went almost two hundred dollars and it bounced and you can see here there's a resistance at the five simple moving average. Of course, I'm not gonna enter loan in here. I want the price to close about the five or the 21 double exponential for me to consider to go loan right here and finish at 120. So keep an eye on Facebook. It's not ready, but it looks really strong. Now let's talk about Netflix. Netflix, as you can see here, there's a huge resistance at the 118.78 Fibonacci, which it was resistant back in July it was resisting in August it was resistant near uh, October and right here we test today that resistance so let's see if you break out if you break out right here this thing can move easily to 130 in a blink so that's the level to watch 118.78 Fibonacci and you can see DMI is bullish and is getting strong huge volume today uh, shares trade 33 million it usually trade between 20 to 25 so it was a really good volume today okay traders sorry that i don't post this on my website the website is down because the person that uh, take care of the website is on vacation so they have many teams that need to upgrade the website so he will come back later uh, probably end of the month so but i can post this on um, youtube and you can see it today this is everything for today. Trade on.